guys, welcome back. I'm starting off fall and Halloween DIY. Budget friendly Dollar Tree items. Well, Dollar Tree is putting out so many different decors this year, which is amazing. I cannot believe it's only July and they have Halloween and fall items already. Just giving you time to go there, grab some items and start making some wonderful DIYs. If you're new to my channel, my name is Janice and I love doing farmhouse, thrift flips, Dollar Tree, home decor, all on a budget. If that interests you, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. For this project, I'm going to be taking this galvanized cap that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using some black felt. I'm using my white marker and I'm just going to trace the outline of the cap. Now I'm just going to use my scissors just to cut this out and then I'm going to use my X-Acto knife because I need to get in between the little areas and also between the eyes. Then I'm going to use my scissors to get in between once I create a little hole. To place the felt down I'm just going to be using some Mod Podge. Now I decided to use the felt because it's too hard to paint galvanized so this was so much easier in a sense and I think it comes out great. Now I'm just placing down the felt right on top. I did use some Mod Podge over the top of the cat and the strangest thing happened when it tried. Some parts of the cat was still like it had like a white tint to it, which is weird. I never had that happen with Mod Podge. All right, so it's dried now. Now you see what I'm talking about? There's like a, a white tint to it. Now I'm gonna take this Dollar Tree round wood piece that I had, that I used previously. I'm gonna take the contact paper from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna trace it out. Now I'm just gonna place the contact paper right over the wood piece. I like this contact paper. I think it's cool. It's perfect for Halloween. I'm just going to make sure there's no air bubbles and just going to go through it a little bit with the squeegee thing that I have and because sometimes you can see creases and wrinkles and stuff. Now I'm going to be taking this LED tea light set that I got from Dollar Tree and it comes with these little crystals inside. So what I'm going to do with them, I'm going to hot glue them right behind the cat's eyes. So I'm going to be using these little jingle blocks or quarter blocks, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to hot glue it right behind the cap. This is going to raise it up so this way I can place that little light underneath so there's enough room. I did have to add another jingle block to it because it wasn't high enough. Now I'm just going to place the glue and place it down. Now I'm just going to hot glue the little tea light right underneath. It turns on like you twist it so there's enough room to actually twist it on and off. I think it's really cute. I know it's early for Halloween but I just love Halloween. So now I'm going to add a spider to it and I'm going to place a little uh, plastic chain to the top for a hanger. I'm just going to glue it to the back. I think this came out super cute, perfect for Halloween, and this is how it turned out. Moving on to fall DIYs, um, what you're going to need for this DIY is two wood pellets from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use some moss and some ribbon from Dollar Tree and also these wood stems from Dollar Tree and some raffia. And I'm going to be using jack-o'-lantern pumpkin color and 
Territorial Beige and Ivory. I'm going to start off painting one palette with the jack-o'-lantern color and then the other palette is going to be the ivory color. going to be using this ivory color. I'm just going to place a little bit on top and then for the ivory one I'm going to use the territorial beige. So now I want to make a pumpkin stem so I'm going to take these wood stems and I'm going to place one right on top. I'm going to be using some raffia. I'm just going to make a little bow and place it right on top. So I'm trying to make these wood pellets look like an actual pumpkin. So I'm going to take some of this moss and I'm going to hot glue it all underneath on both of the wood pellets. Now I'm going to be using Dollar Tree ribbon. I'm going to make two little bows and just place it down with some hot glue. These are really cute to make and they're really easy in all Dollar Tree products so it's really not um, expensive to make. You can use these in a tiered tray or you can simply place them anywhere in your house. They scream fall and Halloween. And this is the final results. All right, for this DIY, I took this Dollar Tree foam ring and I'm gonna be using the ribbon. Also gonna be using these fall foliage picks from Dollar Tree. I was gonna use these green pumpkins from Dollar Tree, but I decided in the end not to. I'm gonna start off by wrapping the foam ring with the Dollar Tree ribbon. I'm gonna place a little glue just to get it started. Now, if I can make this wreath, anybody can make a wreath. I am not by no means an expert at wreaths at all. So if I can do this, you guys can do this. So as you wrap it, you want to make sure you pull it very tight. You want it snug. You don't want it to like have any bulks or anything. So just hold on to it as you wrap it. I'd add a little bit of glue as I went around every like two or three times I went around. And this is how it looks. It looks really great. It's nice and tight. Now the fun part, we start decorating. You can use your imagination. You can use um, an idea that you maybe can get off the internet or Pinterest or anything. So I'm just gonna cut them down and then I'm gonna decide which ones that I wanna put together. I'm gonna start off with the raffia. I'm just gonna kind of make a little messy bow-ish and then I'm gonna place it down with some hot glue. To hold the raffia together, I added a little bit of the floral wire. So now I have the, the picks together and I'm just tying it off with the floral wire and I'm adding some raffia in between. And then once I have it the way I like it, then I'm gonna wrap the floral wire around the picks and then actually place them down on the wreath and wrap the floral wire to hold it in place. You can see I'm placing down the floral wire around the picks and it's going to hold it down in place. I find this much easier and it's a better hold than using the hot glue gun. So now I'm going to take a few leaves that I got from Dollar Tree and just place them in the middle. Where I was going to use the green pumpkins. It still looks pretty that way, so if you decide to make something like this, you can certainly put the pumpkin in the middle instead of the bow that I'm going to be using, because either way, it really does look pretty. Here I'm just gluing down the leaves, and then I'm going to glue down the pumpkin, and you get an idea what it looks like. It looks pretty. Now 
Now I'm going to be using this garland that I got from Dollar Tree and what I'm going to do is just wrap it around and breaks up the orange a bit and I think it looks really pretty this way. And here's where I replaced the pumpkin with the bow that I got from last year from Hobby Lobby. And I think this came out very pretty, looks perfect for fall. Okay, another Halloween DIY. This one is really quick and easy and it comes out so spooky and scary. All you need is like one of these cylinder vases from Dollar Tree, uh, tea light, and some moss, some bones, and a little skull or head. You can use the doll at Dollar Tree and just paint it. I got this from um, Party City last year and I just painted it when I did a DIY last year. So I'm just going to use it because most of my stuff is packed away. So I'm just going to place the tea light inside with the moss. So I'm going to place a few bones inside. I got these from Dollar Tree. I don't know if I mentioned that. Probably did. So I'm just going to place two because it's a tight squeeze in there. But um, I wanted to make it as simple and as spooky as possible. Um, I also got these cockroaches from Party City. Um, and uh <laughs> yeah they look real realistic so i'm just going to throw a few inside if you can't find these or you can always check i don't think dollar tree carries these but party city and michael's i believe do around halloween time so i'm just going to place a bunch on top now these window pane stickers i got from the christmas store last year i never used them so i'm just going to place two that looks like dripping blood on the rim of the vase I gotta get all my Halloween stuff out. First, I gotta pack up my summer stuff before I can bring out my Halloween stuff. But I am so excited, I can't wait. Halloween's my favorite season, if I never mentioned that before. But anyways, guys, this is how it turned out. I think it came out amazingly spooky. Okay, DIY number five, I'm gonna take this Dollar Tree frame. I don't know what I did with the backing. I might've used it previously. And I'm gonna use this green paint. And I took a piece of uh, foam board and cut it out. Eventually it didn't work. So I ended up using one of um, Dollar Tree Easter sign and I just cut it. So I'm gonna be using my vinyl words that I created on my Cricut. It says, hello, fall. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, I know a lot don't. You can always use Dollar Tree rub-ons or Dollar Tree letters, or you can use a stencil. Now I'm just placing down the fall vinyl. Now I'm placing down the hello vinyl as well. Now, like I said, you know, this is really easy to do. Um, just use Dollar Tree frames or Dollar Tree plaques. You can always try to fit it inside. They're really easy to kind of cut. Use your X-Acto knife and just score it. So, I mean, it came out really nice. I like the color for fall. And now I'm just going to hot glue it to the back. And this is how it turned out. I think it came out really pretty. Okay, this is gonna be the last DIY. I took this Dollar Tree pumpkin and this wall tile from Dollar Tree. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the tags and the leaf that's at the top of the pumpkin along with that raffia. I'm gonna reuse it later, so I'm gonna save it. So now I'm gonna take the tile, remove it from the package, and I'm gonna trace the pumpkin on top of it, of the tile.
So now you can see the outline of the pumpkin and it just barely made it because it was kind of a wide pumpkin. Now I'm just going to cut it out with my scissors. To place the wall tile down on the pumpkin, I'm going to be using the tacky glue and a little bit of the hot glue. I'm adding a little bit of glue on the rim of the pumpkin. Now I'm going to place the wall tile down. Because there's some overhang in the back, I'm just going to use my blade just to clean it up. So I'm going to be painting the wall tile with the moss color. I love this color. It's so perfect for fall. It's such a beautiful color. So as you can see, it has like some grooves in it. So once I apply the moss, I will then apply like a vintage white over the top. And it comes out so pretty. I love the way this came out. pretty it looks. I'm going to take this antique color from Apple Barrel and I'm going to take a chippy brush and just go over the top very lightly. I hope this video had inspired you in some sort of way. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know which one was your favorite. And if you have any suggestions for the next videos upcoming, you know, let me know. Alright, so I'm using some raffia. I'm just cutting some pieces because I'm going to gather them together and just wrap it with um, a raffia piece. Now I took this ridged ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take some raffia and wrap it in the middle as well. So I'm going to place them right down at the top of the pumpkin. So I'm going to reuse that leaf that came with the pumpkin and I just hot glue it right underneath the raffia. I'm also going to use this Dollar Tree garland and I just kind of like wrapped it around my finger to make it look twirly and I'm just going to hot glue two pieces to the top. And look how beautiful this came out. I love the way it came out. So I wanted to be able to stand up. So I grabbed this piece of wood that I had in my stash. Just going to hot glue the pumpkin to it. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.